This is a customer request tech tip provided by Imaginic Technologies. My name is Rusty Belcher, and I'll be working through the tech tip with you today. Uh, in today's tech tip, we're going to be taking a look at getting parameters into a parts list, but doing so in a certain fashion. We actually want the parameters to stack up inside a single cell, like you see on the screen. I have multiple parameters that need to appear in a single cell in the parts list. So let's take a look at the example file that we're going to be looking at here. Uh, let's go ahead and start off with the parameters. Uh, we'll go ahead and activate our parameters. I'll pull those down here. And we have a number of parameters that control uh, the actual size of the part. I'm actually right now, I'm only looking at the key parameters. Uh, one of the things this process is good, it's going to be essential that we do is if we mark a parameter as key, we also need to make sure we export the parameter. Very key to this overall process that that happens. So in this particular example, I have a parameter here, D, uh, which is uh, currently 5 inches. If I were to change that to 12, uh, is the height of the uh, duct. Let's go ahead and put it back to 5. So we want to pick on our, we want to use D. Um, I also want to use uh, W0. If I were to change that to 12, that's the width of the uh, box. Go ahead and put that back to 10. And one more, if I pull this down here, I'm also interested in the angle. If I were to change this to 22 degrees, you would see that the angle changes. And I want to change that back to 30. So uh, A0 is another one of the parameters that I want to stack up in a cell. So D. Uh, uh, W0 and A0 are the parameters that I want to utilize. Again, D, W0, A0. Now, this whole process works on a uh, principle of mapping parameters or I properties correctly. So I'm going to go over here to the part in the browser. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to I properties. Uh, on the custom tab inside of I properties, you will see all of our parameters. There is D, uh, A0, and W0. Very good. Let me show you what we could do uh, with these now that we have these parameters mapped as I properties. Let's go over here to summary for a minute, and I noticed on this particular asset that the description wasn't filled out. Well, you can use these properties to fill out your description. So let me show you how we're going to do this. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is type in an equal sign here. And then um, I'm just going to type in regular text. This is an offset. All right. And then in sharp brackets, I can put in the parameters. So I'm going to put in a D in sharp brackets. And then I'll just put a, a, a space and an X and another space. That's just regular text. Why don't we put in in sharp brackets again, W0. That is the width. And then I'll put in a regular X. And then in sharp brackets, we'll put in the A0. Oops, let me back that up. Has to, you have to type it in case sensitive, exactly like the parameter is named. And if I hit Enter, you'll notice that the values are substituted in the string. And if you hover over it, you can see what you originally typed in. And if you want to edit the expression, you just right click and select edit expression. If you wanted to make a change or something along those lines, uh, you could absolutely do that. You can also hit apply, which makes it reevaluate. So we're going to use this process uh, to cluster parameters together and make a stack. Now I'm going to do this over here on the custom tab. And it's just going to be a text parameter. So I'm going to call it stack one. And stack one, and the value, we're going to type in the equal sign. And basically, we're going to do the same thing in sharp brackets here. I'm going to put in D. And then I'm going to put a space. The space is going to help us later with text wrapping in the cell. The next thing I want to do is put in sharp brackets W0. Put another space right there. And then the last one in sharp brackets is A0. 
Now if I hit enter, you actually see it come down below and it looks for a second like it didn't work. But you have to click apply. Once you click apply, you can see the values as they are described. So we'll select close and let's start a new drawing. We'll go to file new. I'm just going to use a standard DWG here. And of course, my parts list is going to be much more primitive than uh, you know, parts list that a particular customer is going to use. I'm just going to show off the ability to stack these parameters. Now the first thing I'm going to do is just come in and drop one of the parts down here uh, on the screen. So I have a view. And then I want to begin making the parts list. And you can make a parts list for a single part. Absolutely um, a valid workflow. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the parts list first. You could set up your parts list ahead of time so it automatically drops this way but I want you to see how it works. Notice that in this particular case the description is automatically filling in. That's similar to what we want to do but um, I'm going to modify my parts list so let me zoom in here a little bit. Uh, to edit a parts list you right click uh, edit parts list or you can also double click it. I'm going to go over here to the column chooser and we're going to add our own new property right here there's an option to add a new property and we're going to call it stack one you have to type that in exactly as you did in the supporting document we'll click OK now stack one is here I'll click OK and you can actually see the three parameters coming in the way we specified if I click OK there you can see all three parameters in a row uh, stacked up inside of this of a single cell. Now <clears throat> I've seen uh, an example of a parts list like this and typically uh, the only thing we are doing is giving the fabricator the numbers that he has to punch into the processing machine and sometimes believe it or not you don't want to see the units you just want to see the three numbers here and to, to eliminate the units from this is a little tricky. I do want to uh, take the time and show you that. So that actually happens back over in the part file. And it happens in the parameter table. So we'll go to the parameter table. And I'm going to find the parameter. Here's the parameter D. And I'm going to use this option here, custom property format. And I'm simply to not to, you can notice the preview here, to hide the unit, I'm going to uncheck unit string and I'll click OK. And I'm going to do the same thing for W0 and A0. And we'll click Done and if I go back over you can see the the stack with the three parameters without units. If you wanted to center justify them you absolutely could. Again that's just a matter of coming into the parts list, going to Format Column and then choosing the value justification. So there you go. Uh, so this is absolutely uh, just a, a simple uh, example of the workflow for taking multiple parameters uh, of a design and stacking them up in a parts list uh, with multiple parameters displaying in the same cell. Thanks for your attention. I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, please contact your local Imaginate Technologies support representative.